Baldwin County approved a real-time crime center at the Sheriff's Office. The center will feature technology to detect where people are and where a crime took place. Sheriff Bill Massey says it's like a high-tech neighborhood watch. Ellie Milliken visited the crime center and she joins us in studio to share what she learned. That's right, Lori. I got to talk with Sheriff Massey and Major Brad King about their plans for the real-time crime center. King says ever since they had flock cameras, he's wanted to have a center like this. It took Major Brad King five minutes to find my car. All it took was knowing I had a white RAV4 and he was able to go from there. He says they have been able to catch murderers through the flock cameras. Um, hit we got on flock when we went live uh, was a murderer out of North Carolina. And um, we weren't able to stop him, but we notified Jones County and Jones County stopped him at the county line. So on the 8th of October at 11.01. All this information helped Jones County find the murderer, his weapon, and the vehicle he carjacked. These flock cameras will be a part of the real-time crime center. Sheriff Bill Massey says this center will be able to detect suspects' license plates and find them on video. And the 911 center can help direct deputies to the scene. We'll have software cameras up and we will monitor crime as it evolves. We may go to, uh, our deputies may be uh, sent to uh, the scene of an armed robbery. We may get an ID on a vehicle. Just one click. Brian Robinson is on this. This has been a project in the works for a while. The Sheriff's Department hopes it will reduce crime by keeping a watchful eye on spots all over the county. Thank you, Ellie. They're still waiting to put out a bid for the center. The sheriff expects it will cost more than $600,000 in SPLOS money, county funds and grants.